Hey guys, what's up? Shadowlands back with another video today. Today I'm doing kind of the other side of my top 10 reasons to start playing CA. It's pretty much top 10 reasons to not start playing CA. So those of you guys who are on the border about whether to come back to this game or not, or whether you're looking for a new game to play, this is a video that you might want to check out because it's going to tell you whether you really think you should or shouldn't. And I also highly suggest you go check out my top 10 reasons to start playing the game so that you can get the pros and cons. But without further ado, let's dive into top 10 reasons to not start playing CA. Number 10, the community is getting better better but it's still not good. People whine about hackers and glitching constantly to the point where you question the age group of the people you are playing with even if you know for a fact they are older than they are acting. In ninth place, the default weapons are absolute trash. GP is hard to come by and everything is very expensive, so chances are you're going to be stuck with your defaults for quite a while and it's going to suck epic monkey poop. In eighth, in eighth place, the emod system is one of the biggest turnoffs for new players. God forbid you do anything above a 1.0 KDR in a match because if you kill that emod or get too many kills, you are out of the game in a flash. In 7th place, contacting administrators is pretty damn bad. Once again, even though it's gotten better, if you have something important to tell an admin or a GM, you can kiss that notion goodbye because it won't happen. Getting in contact is one thing, getting them to listen is another. For one, the GMs don't even play the game with the players on the public server, so they have no clue what's going on half the time. In 6th place, glitching and peeking is one of the biggest frustrations with this game, period. Like, beyond that of other first-person shooters. The game where it's glitched, peeking, all that kind of stuff, is so bad to the point where you literally can't land a shot on them because they are shooting through a wall due to a glitch called peeking, and that is exploited in many areas around the game. There's probably a dozen or so, if not more, spots around every map where you can do that. It's just a very, very bad system for that kind of crouching stuff right now. In 5th place, hacking is still an issue. While it's nowhere near as common as it used to be, it is still a larger issue with this game than most others these days, mostly because of the old style game engine being so easy to crack. In 4th place, there are a lot of very overpowered weapons floating around. Even though a lot of the rebalancing has been done, a lot of weapons have been nerfed or boosted or whatever if you want to call it that, it was only with the econ economy and making weapons available as far as the recent patches are concerned. All of the weapons that have up until now been overpowered are still overpowered and they're still floating around and people still use them. In third place, you better have a damn nice computer to play this game. Because of its age and the way the engine is designed, there are huge memory leak problems. At times, your FPS will drop to unplayable rates, that is, if you don't crash altogether. In second place, the lag, as far as internet is concerned, is horrendous at times, especially after updates when everybody wants to try the new toys. Teleportation lag, disconnections, frame rate lag, registry lag, you name it, Combat Arms has it all, and it's for everybody. In first place, Combat Arms is an old game. If you're looking for cutting edge graphics, modern game engines, realistic gameplay, or anything from 2010 onwards, this is not where you'll find it. Even the servers the game runs on are old and are not the best, hence the reason number two with the lag. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, share your own opinions in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Shadowlance, out.